I feel a little bit like Paul Revere. It was about two years ago, we were warning the American people that the Democrats, on a purely partisan basis, passed a massive $1.9 trillion spending extravaganza. It would have an inflationary effect. Remember Lawrence Summers, President Clinton's former Secretary of the Treasury, one of President Obama's right-hand people as it relates to economic policy. He was warning Democrats about the same thing. You can't do that without igniting inflationary fires. Well, I'm here to report today that that was part of igniting an inflationary fire that we are suffering greatly now as a country because of inflation and now higher interest rates. Never ever forget, every single Senate Democrat voted for that bill. Every single Senate Republican voted against it. It was Kamala Harris who broke the tie. And that was the beginning, certainly, of the inflationary fires we see, saw lit across this economy. Now, we're riding again here as Paul Revere, warning, warning our country that is irresponsible, irresponsible for President Biden to give Speaker McCarthy the cold shoulder. It's been 83 days since they've spoken. Speaker McCarthy has come to the table with some common sense ideas to claw back wasteful spending, address the debt crisis. This should be and must be a bipartisan discussion. But it takes two sides to negotiate. We must have President Biden come to the table in a serious way with Speaker McCarthy to solve this pending crisis. So I come before you yet again as Paul Revere, warning, warning our country that if we don't have adults in the room, starting with President Biden, we face a significant financial crisis. I can tell you families deserve more than Democrats' reckless monetary policies. It's reckless for President Biden to be playing games with this looming debt ceiling crisis. Let's bring back fiscal sanity and fiscal responsibility. Hello, friends. So a big question is, is Congress really moving forward with a fourth round of stimulus checks? There is a growing number of supporters for monthly stimulus checks for millions of Americans. And recurring payments that are worth as much as $1,200 will be automatically deposited if this bill becomes law. But friends, these checks could lead to a recession. So this evening, I'll be going over what you need to know. So please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also, this coming Friday, I will be announcing more winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Democratic lawmakers have voiced their opinion on another round of stimulus checks. Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar has said that she supports two proposals. These two proposals may benefit millions of American families. The first proposal would provide an income floor for everyone in the face of inequality. Meanwhile, the second proposal would make the expanded child tax credit permanent. First, Representative Omar said she will keep pushing for measures such as guaranteed income programs through legislative proposals like the Support Act. The Support Act would send $1,200 per month to every adult and $600 per month to every child through local governments via cash payments over a five-year period. Representative Omar has also said this bill builds on successful guaranteed income pilot programs we have seen in localities nationwide, including in Minneapolis and St. Paul. In addition, Omar, along with two other lawmakers, recently reintroduced the End Child Poverty Act, which would replace a child tax credit and the child provisions in the Earned Income Tax Credit with a universal child benefit. The three lawmakers said in an announcement that on the federal level, this program would be universal and include no income phase-ins or phase-out.
children would be automatically enrolled at birth, and every family would receive a monthly payment distributed by the Social Security Administration for every child they are currently caring for up to the age of 18. The lawmakers' initiative is perhaps inspired by Minnesota's own proposal, under which families earning less than $50,000 a year will be provided $1,000 per child through the state child tax credit, regardless of their tax liability. Representative Omar has recently said the checks are estimated to benefit 2.5 million Minnesota families, totaling $3.9 billion. Families could start receiving checks in the early fall. The plan also expands the child and dependent care credit to help families afford child care. Families would receive up to $4,000 per child under the age of five, with a maximum of $10,500 for child care. Many lawmakers agree that Congress must take federal action to address child poverty and help millions of families afford basics like food, rent, child care, and health care. By signing this bill into law, the End Child Poverty Act would cut childhood poverty by nearly two-thirds. For much of 2022, financial experts were warning consumers to brace for a 2023 recession. The logic was that interest rate hikes on the part of the Federal Reserve were apt to lead to a broad pullback in spending. And that alone had the potential to drive the U.S. economy into a downward spiral. So far, the economy has been resilient, but a combination of rate hikes and the recent banking industry crisis have the potential to fuel a mild recession later on in 2023. Economic recessions can take on different forms, and a mild one may not be so painful or prolonged. But it's important to prepare for a recession nonetheless, and one of the best ways to do so is to build a solid emergency fund. At a minimum, you should aim to have enough money in your savings account to cover three months full of essential expenses. In addition to shoring up your savings, it's a great idea to work on chipping away at existing high interest debt, such as credit card balances you might still have. So the last time that lawmakers approved a round of federal stimulus checks was March of 2021 as part of the American Rescue Plan. Back then, unemployment was very high and many people could not return to a job due to health concerns. If a mild recession hits later on in 2023, financial aid may change. In fact, many financial experts point to generous crisis-era stimulus policies as a reason inflation has been surging since mid-2021. So friends, what do you think caused inflation? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my beautiful and most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you, dearest friends, for being part of this community and for joining me here every single day. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway this coming Friday. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dear friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.